Good afternoon. This is Thorne from Dream Designs, author of 21 Days and uh, chairman of, uh, of Dream, De uh, Dream Development and Designs. <laughs> I want to talk to you today about love. Imagine. Um, what is love? You know, it means a lot of different things to people. Um, it's expressed in many different ways. I will tell you about my definition and my expression. My definition of love is getting a feeling within you that you're connected to everything. And if there is hurt somewhere, it hurts you. So immediately you don't hurt people and you don't have any intention to hurt people. Secondly, you want to feel good and you want to have a good time. So you will try your very best to cause the people around you to feel good and have a good time. That's the basic definition of love for me. Um, romance and uh, and relationships with, with opposite sexes and same sexes nowadays. Um, people uh, attempt to differentiate that, oh, that's a different kind of love. That kind of love, when you have that type of love, you don't want anybody else. It's bollocks. It's nonsense. Okay? Attraction is innate. The reason for attraction has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with your physical body. It existed way before you were born. So the whole idea that love is limited to attraction or limited to, to relationship rules and so on, that's nonsense. Now, you can have agreements with people that you're in relationship with. And therefore, deceit is unacceptable. So for the most part, when people cheat on each other, the reason that they feel horrible is the deceit because I mean a lot of us yeah have married to virgins and so on but many of us aren't okay and as a result people have had sex with other people before and it doesn't bother us so why does it bother us now one we feel this attachment there's an attachment there's a fear of losing love because love is something that we need to feel connection it's the connection we need you know the appreciation hey you're awesome I'm awesome too let's have a good time so when, when someone is giving anybody else their attention, um, we feel like we might lose them. So as a result, we panic and we get angry. And then we, we kick that person out or we, we leave that person and feel worse for a period of time. Now, in those moments, you're supposed to learn your lesson, not to avoid uh, uh, romance, but to avoid the attachment. Okay. Um, I, I go with my feeling a lot, you know, and it's my radar. It's really dependable. It's much more dependable than logic, okay? So sometimes you get a feeling. Sometimes you meet someone and you get excited about them and you wanna interact with them. You wanna enjoy that feeling some more. And your relationship may prevent this from occurring because of the fear that your loved one might lose you. So I am not telling anybody how to have their relationships. I'm not telling anybody how to, how to love and how to display their love, but I just wanted to express a point of view that is mine, that didn't came from me, come from me alone, you know, as Osho and a couple other philosophers, etc. share the same point of view. So recognize the reasons for the bad feeling. Every time you have a bad feeling, it's not because of what's happening outside of you. It's what's happening inside of you. When you feel bad, it's because... You are not thinking the right thoughts. You are reacting inappropriately to a situation. So let's say I had an experience where I saw, I walked up to my ex-girlfriend kissing a person, okay? In that moment, the feeling that I was getting, it was only because, let's say I had a horrible feeling, it was only because I, I didn't, I, I didn't want to share. I didn't want to lose that person. I didn't want to lose the feeling of love. And when it died down after they stop kissing and some days go by and so on, you go back to wanting that person in your life, you know? So recognize that people make mistakes. They're only human. Recognize that attraction is beyond any contract that you could have with somebody. Um, and be very clear about your agreements, okay? And watch your feelings, okay? When you get a feeling that's terrible, instead of looking at the outside and blaming the outside, you are the reason why I'm feeling bad. No, look at the inside. Why am I reacting this way? Why am I feeling this way? It's because of your thoughts. All right, so as far as love is concerned, love is all encompass en encompassing, okay? When you're in love, you are in love with the world. You are in love with the trees. You are in love with matter, with the spirit, with animals, creatures, everything, you're in love. That's what love is. That's how God expresses his love by 
living through all of his creation. So why would you want to take love and limit it to a marriage? <laughs> or the vows and so on. There's nothing. Marriage is beautiful. It's great if you if you find someone to enjoy a great time with and enjoy the life. That's amazing. You know, I, I recommend it. You know, but as far as the other things that come with it, uh, try to be real open and honest about your feelings with your partner so that you guys could grow together and uh, enjoy other people. You know, enjoy each other, but also enjoy other people. Not everything has to be about sex, okay? You could be attracted to somebody and never have sex with them. So, I uh, just want to share that with you. Have a great day.